What is up guys and girls, Hurricane Liz here. And in this video, we talk about thumbnails, the good, the bad, the ugly. Do you really need them and why? I got that to talk about and a heck of a lot more. So I'm super fired up to look at some of these and butcher them up. I hope you're fired up. Let's do this. So in this video, we're gonna take a look at some thumbnails and talk about the importance of thumbnails, my theory on whether or not you need them and a bunch more. But before we even jump into the video, let's just talk about getting into influencer. If you haven't already done it, I wanna remind everyone, this is the easiest side hustle I've ever seen. And I know while most people say that, when you first get started, you are going to understand. So if you've had trouble getting in and or are not sure how to get in, I do have a free guide that is below that eventually is going to go over to paid. So you might as well get your hands on that. Get your mitts on it. Read through it. It's a quick read. It's also a fun read. I've been told, but that is available below. Just send me an email to the email address below. I'll be more than happy to send that over to you. But let's go ahead and jump into thumbnails. And before we start looking for some, let's talk about are they or are they not necessary well truth be told i don't really think they're absolutely necessary so if you're just getting started i would highly suggest to ignore them and instead focus on reviewing and making as many videos as possible when you first start quantity is more important than quality and that is still the case so I recommend that first and foremost. Second, once you're doing it for a while and you kind of run out of things in your house and you're running out of other things in other places that you look for, then you certainly want to devote some extra time into doing thumbnails. And some of the most basic thumbnails could do you a lot of justice. And I'll explain more why as we look for some thumbnails and just go about and look around. So I'm going to go into the best sellers category just because I see a lot of videos from influencers talking about how they bought a certain number of product from the best sellers and then they wanted to see how that turned out. So I'm just going to go into the best sellers and we can easily just pick any category. I'm going to go into home and kitchen only because it's a pretty big one and this is usually where a lot of people have the bulk of the stuff in their home because it's a lot of home and kitchen stuff. And so we're gonna shoot down to round number 20, we're lucky number 21. We're gonna start at 21 and we're gonna see what we've got in terms of thumbnails here. So lucky enough, we got some videos here. Let's go ahead and click on there and look. All right, we caught that right before it said anything. So I'm gonna show you here uh, the difference between some that have it and some don't. So this one obviously stands out. This one does not have anything, but even something as simple as this where it says review, even though I can't read that, that's somewhat bad. However, if you've got something like this versus something like this, a lot of people are gonna put their eyeballs on this and wanna click on this instead of that. So that's sort of the significance of having a thumbnail. Now this one's just bad because I can't see shit. Like, let's be honest here. I'm having to squint at that and I have pretty good eyesight, but let's just say the average Amazon shopper is like, holy shit, what does that show right there? I can't even read it. Right, they gotta put their glasses on. If they gotta put their glasses on, out of the question. They're not gonna look at it. This is pretty interesting. I'm wondering what is that red arrow mean? Does it mean some kind of stain, like a coffee stain or some kind of liquid, bodily fluid liquid? Is it a murder scene? What exactly is it? So the, something just as subtle as an arrow pointing at the potential body liquid uh, catastrophe on the sheet is really good. That's great. This it's just too small as is this and this has nothing but you'll notice that these two stand out this i don't know why they get, got tried to get cutesy with the cursive just put it in like meme font font that stands out and just punches you right in the face so that's that one let's go ahead and look at this one here and see if this has got any and yeah we got lucky again here we go six videos here so let's see what we've got all right so on this one Again, we've got, this is certainly a thumbnail because it's got a thumbs up and him holding something. The only problem that I have with this is you can't tell what the hell he's holding. Well, that could be good and that could be bad. It just doesn't make sense, nor does this thing. This three functions in one, it's just too small. This, I can't read any of that. All these are kind of garbage thumbnails. They're not the greatest, but they do stand out if they were 
up against other thumbnails, but it's really difficult to be able to tell what exactly they're doing here. Portable fan review, I can see that. And like I said, luckily for me, I don't have to squint, but you might get grandma that does it here and she's like, what the hell? Now this is really interesting what he has here. And this is why I like to look at these. Notice how he has his name spelled out. Now I've seen emojis like green check marks that stand out, but this guy's got something more. Let's go ahead and jump into this and see what Hi. in the hell that Welcome is. To my review. Let's see what he's got. I'm going to go into his profile and he did this all with emojis. So that's why it stands out like that. And you'll see that there's a certain theme that he's got in almost all of his videos. And I kind of like this thumbnail a lot more than the other thumbnail. Like this is why like, I'm thinking as a viewer, why or what? What the hell is this guy going to tell me? But either way, I like it a lot. I like his background. I like his style for his thumbnail. And let's see, he's got one idealist. He's got one photo, and then of course he's got all his videos. So he did, he did a pretty good job overall. I just don't like that particular thumbnail that he had for this product, which I mean, you're not gonna win them all. He could be testing something, but right about now, it's really difficult to tell what tests are working since we don't get that much data other than what products are selling. All right, so next one up, you'll notice here we got good old sheet guy again. Sheet guy strikes again, bodily fluid guy strikes with the arrow. I like this one a lot. So this is a perfect example of something that's really simple that you could do quite easily and quickly in all your videos. All he did is he took a screenshot of some part of the video and then he put a red arrow in there. Pretty simple. This is pretty simple. And was it worth it? Yeah, it was absolutely worth it to do this thumbnail. It's pretty darn good. It's simple, just font asking, is it worth it? This guy did something too. It's just him. I don't know what if he's hugging on something or he's trying to make out with the mattress topper. I'm not certain, but still overall we're good. Now this is just, it's just, I can't tell. It's, it just looks like thumbnail vomit. But other than that, these three are basic. This one would have probably taken the most effort to create, but these two, very simple, very effective, something you can easily do with all your thumbnails to be able to stand out. And um, by no means, all these people that have thumbnails, they just took extra effort in making this business work. And I think it does pay off in the long run. Although a lot of people have conflicting data, I would say that you should, once you review everything, you go with getting a thumbnail. So here we've got, she's got her face here. I'm not sure if that's part of, that looks like it's just part of the video. But this, I can't even read, a no mildew madness or NMS or something like that. And then this is just like a cartoon. It's, it's kind of really bad. So there was no really good one here. So you could clearly see that if you got a red arrow pointing at this curtain and then something that says like, guess what, in big white letters, it's going to stand out. It's going to make people want to click. And they're certainly going to want to click on it versus some of these others that you can't really even read a damn thing that they've got on them. Like you literally need your bifocals just to be able to zoom in on that. So let's look at two more and then we will call it a day. And hopefully you guys understand the importance of creating these thumbnails now after you get all the standard work done. So here we are with the next one. Okay, with this one, I've got no idea what's going on. I don't know what they're doing underneath that sheet or whatever it is. Uh, this is a girl wearing a toga. She's wearing her thing as a toga. So and here we got the old cartoon guy striking again. All these are pretty bad. It looks like here they're making a house with the sheet and or blanket, whatever it is. But altogether, very easy to beat these people with just the simple and effective tactics that we already saw on some of the other ones. And here's that emoji in case you guys didn't know what I was talking about. The emoji in the name is very similar to what that other guy did, except that other guy went just bananas. He absolutely went batshit crazy by doing what he did. And for now, it works. In the future, though, Amazon might shut some of these tactics down. But for now, it could be used very effectively to stand out. So remember, any edge that you can get standing out is what you want. Want. All right, and the last one we're gonna look at, this is my logic behind don't put font too small. Like, I don't know what in God's green earth this shit says. Should you buy mule velvet throw pillows? I don't even know what the fuck that says. And I'm sorry for cursing, but I don't know what that says. Utopia bedding, pillow inserts. I mean, this, is, this makes me feel like I'm at the DMV testing for my driver's license 
and uh, I'm about to fail because I can't tell what the hell it said. And then these two have no thumbnails. So obviously these two are going to stand out and get more clicks than the other two. But I mean, some people might just be frustrated with the simple fact that they can't read what the hell is on that thumbnail. So again, it's not as important to get a thumbnail as it is to think about how the buyer is feeling when they're trying to see it. They can get frustrated because they can't read it or they just can't flat out see it, especially you get somebody that's older. But all in all, uh, these are all pretty bad. I've seen a couple good ones that we talked about that were really simple. Let's just look at one more and see if this has any reviews and it does. So let's go ahead and see the last one. We'll see if we get any big winners here to get any ideas for our own videos. And let's take a look. No, there's just one and it's just nothing. But that's pretty much it for this video of how you should do thumbnails. Remember, if you're not already an influencer, my guide is free. Just send me an email to the address below. I'll be more than happy to send that over to you. But questions and comments, post them below. I always personally answer those and I'll see you guys next time.